Playmakers, the daily sports bulletin from the bridge that brings you the big news and the top plays from the world of Indian sports. Hello and welcome to the Playmakers. My name is Rahul Kargo. Our top news today comes from Kolkata, where on Sunday the city witnessed massive protests, this time from football fans of Mohan Bagan, East Bengal, and Mohammedan Sporting. The fans rallied in unison while demanding justice for a trainee doctor who was brutally assaulted and murdered on the 9th of August at a hospital in Kolkata. The demonstrations, held in heavy rain, took a violent turn when police used batons, causing a stampede-like situation. AIFF President Kalyan Chobe and Mohan Bagan captain Subhashish Bose were noticeable participants. Despite the police crackdown, the fans remained focused in their call for justice for the victim in what was truly a rare show of unity amongst fans of the biggest rivals in Indian football. News from the world of Indian motor racing now and Diana Pundoli from Pune made history as the first woman driver to win the MRF Saloon Category Championship in the 2024 Indian National Car Racing Championship at the Madras International Circuit at Sri Paramudur. The 28-year-old mother of two came through a tough field of intense competition to emerge on top. Other winners included Jaden Pariyat and Abhay Mohan in their respective MRF single-seater categories. Also, Mira Erda secured her first ever win in a single-seater in the Formula 1300 category. On to athletics now and Avinash Sable, fresh from the Paris Olympics, will compete in the men's 3000m steeplechase at the 2024 Silesia Diamond League on the 25th of August. Sable, who made history as the first Indian to reach the steeplechase final at the Olympics, finished 11th in Paris. The Silesia Diamond League event will feature medalists from Paris, including gold medalist El Bakali of Morocco, silver medalist Kenneth Rooks of the US and bronze medalist Abraham Kibiwat of Kenya. Incidentally, it was at the Silesia Diamond League last year that Sable secured his Olympic qualification by finishing 6th with a time of 8 minutes 11.63 seconds. News from Tennis Now and Indian tennis star Sumit Nagal was beaten 6-4, 6-2 by Borna Korich in straight sets in the first round of the ATP 250 Winston-Salem Open. Despite a promising start, Nagal struggled against Korich's experience and strong serve. The result is a setback for Nagal, currently ranked 74th as he was just not able to capitalize on his opportunities even as Korich, ranked 83rd and lower than Nagal, took control of the match. There was good news though from Squash, where Indian teenage star Anahat Singh triumphed at the Reliance PSA Challenger 3 tournament in Sri Lanka. The top seeded Anahat beat the third seed Chanit Masinale in the final with a dominant performance, winning 11 love, 11 1, and 11 4. The 16 year old top seed showed exceptional form and remarkably conceded just one point in the first two games and finished strongly in the third. Anahat, considered by Mani as the biggest prospect in Indian squash for the 2028 Los Angeles Olympics, received a cash prize of $3,000 for the win and will now head to the HCL squash tour in Kolkata, scheduled to be from the 27th to the 31st of August. And now our play of the day comes from the third ODI of the India A Women's Tour of Australia. Put into bat, the India A Women scored 243 for 9 and in response the Australia A Women was skittled out for just 72 in 21.1 overs. The destroyer-in-chief was Priya Mishra who picked up 5 for 14. The leg spinner Priya Mishra who incidentally was playing her first match of the tour bowled two maidens in a five-over spell and her fifer which helped the India A women earn a consolation win is our play of the day. And that's all that I have for you on the Playmakers today. Do follow the bridge.in and our social media handles for all the news on Indian sports. My name is Rahul Kargal. Until next time, goodbye and good luck.